Hey guys, how's it going? Another quick update on the uh, showroom. Progress has been a little bit slow because uh, I've had a cold, boo-hoo. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the doors are in. Look at that. So much better than the old ones. Let's in so much more natural light. Looks absolutely amazing. A few, a few of my mates come up and give me a hand doing them because that is not a one-man job. It took three of us to get it in. Um, and I'm really happy. I got them second hand off, off Marketplace for about 350 quid. So for that much glass, it's not very much money at all. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with them. Uh, we whitewashed them so people can't look in at the moment until it's done. Gonna do a little bit more cladding on that side there. Fill that void, insulate it, damp proof it. Um, yeah, so it's all getting there. It's just uh, progress has been a bit slow this week, but it's, um, I'm happy still because the doors are in and um, on Sunday, which is in three days, track day on the Ropey SV650, which I'm really, really excited about. I got this off Marketplace for, I think I paid 1,400 pound for it. I mainly bought it because it's got an Olin's rear shock in it. Um, and it's got K-Tech internals in the front, which is the only thing you're allowed to do on the uh, Mini Twin race season I believe other than like foot pegs and things but you can't do anything to the engines um, I mean you can put different cams in them but it can't be over 72 brake horsepower I believe um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to getting on track with that which should be good um, yeah I mean it looks way better it looks really good on the uh, video camera but if you come around here this all the filler and everything's in the tank and it's all really beaten up a massive gouge sticking out the tank on that side. Um, but it should be all right. I've had the engine apart three times now. It's just the work that was done to it previously was awful. We know like even the bolts on the foot pegs were all rounded off, over tightened. Everything was just over torqued. So quite a lot broke when I was trying to um, rebuild the top end of the engine and put the cams in. Um, bike wise, we've got a customer's bike in there um i think that one needs a new battery but we'll give it a try and see what the faults are uh, that honda fmx that's leaving today that one's sold uh picked up a, another sv650 a bit smashed up but should be good to go and then we got all these things in here this is basically a room of work everything in here needs work but i can't do anything until um until I finish building this room. Obviously we've got the door going in. Oh, we've got lights now as well. My good friend came up and finished off some of the lights. I've still got to put bulbs in all of it, but we've actually got lights now, which is pretty cool. Super happy with that. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the, on the front end. Like, shop fronts don't have to cost a fortune. I got them for 350 quid. Yeah, the label was free because it was my friends doing it, but you know, everyone's got a few friends who can do, jump in and have a go at it. You know, I'd never fitted one of them before and it's sturdy as, they're really easy to put in. There's a bit of faffery trying to get them all to match up right and stuff and keep them level, but you can do it on a budget. You don't need to spend like, you know, you can get bifolds that cost like four grand. Um, brand new with aluminium frames. Like I just did, it's just not in my budget. So sliding patio doors will do. And they work an absolute treat. The only downside is the guy who sold it to me didn't tell me that the lock was broke, which is a bit of a shame. But they work, and you can get bikes in and out without hitting the sides of the bike. Because before I was trying to like jiggery pokery it into the front door through this little like side hatch like that, basically. Um, but yeah, so um, I'll give you a little time lapse now of uh, us doing the work and. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will give you guys another update soon. Probably when I go on track at Cadwell Park. Thanks again guys. See you later. Bye bye.